Hey guys, today I've got a bunch of stuff I can show you. Uh, any shop that doesn't have one of these machineries handbook, doesn't matter what edition, I mean it goes back, it's 100 years old this book. This one was printed in I believe the 80s. So I got two, I got two copies, one I keep up by my bed and the other one's in the shop. So I refer to it all the time for First printing was 1914. Now, lots of good information in there. All right, well, this is my recent uh, find on Kijiji. I saw an ad for a bunch of wrenches. I don't know how many, but we've got uh, some metric. Yeah, the three more, most important sizes. Uh, a bunch of large. This is the ones I was after, the big ones. This is an inch and, a, inch and an eighth, sixteenth. Inch and a quarter, and then you got a few, a couple of metric again, and then you got the three most important on the other end of the spectrum there nine sixteenths, half inch, three eighths, 30 bucks for all these. Okay, so here's the other addition to the shop, and I bought this a while back in December, I think, beginning of December. I just have not had time to take any video of it. This came with this set. And I was missing the uh, six to seven inch, and I'm still missing the nine to ten inch. But I got this one here. It's a Starrett, uh What is it? Five to six inch, which I don't have. I don't have one of these. And this is a uh, more and right, uh, and it's a. I don't have one of these either. It's a four to five inch, I think. And this is a complete set with the exception of one missing uh, 9 to 10 inch. I'm watching for one on eBay. I picked this one up. These two came. I didn't really need this one, but it came with. They are selling them as a package, two of them together, and really cheap. But, you know, I was looking over this bunch here, and they're pretty beat up. But not, not terrible, not calibrated. And then I received this one, and it's really beat up. It's got scratches and dents all over it, but, you know, for the price, I couldn't go wrong. So it's a uh, 6 to 12 inch, 6, cal six uh, micrometers. Here's the list of what I got. They're all 191. And you see the smaller ones are like 191, 8. There should be a dash in there. It's like 1918. But the uh, the one I bought on, on eBay was a 192, 7. Sort of 1927. But it's got the satin chrome Lufkin uh, Rule Company. So. I'll have, I think within a year or so, I'll have a complete set. I'll find that. Uh, I already found one, a 9 to 10 inch, one that goes in here, but it's, they just want too much money for it. And a real bonus is the box. Came with a bunch of uh, standards. Uh, I thought this was a correct set, but turns out I'm missing the one that goes in here. See, it's an inch short. So this one actually goes here. And this one goes up here, this one, this one does not belong to this set. It's a smaller one. It's, so, I just need one standard, and it's a complete set of standards. Uh, and I think I can calibrate these. I have to check, check these, see if they're correct. And then I can, you know, I can kind of adjust them. Some of them are off a little bit, about two, three thousandths of an inch. This one I cleaned up a little bit. I buffed all the, the metal. Anyone tells you you shouldn't buy these. You know, you know, if they're not deeply pitted with rust, you buff these up on a on a buffing wheel, wire brush and then a, a buffing wheel, they come out just like chrome. And it looked like this when I started. So So I'm gonna do the other ones too. 
I'll have a really nice set. I don't know if I'll ever need all of these, but uh, I do anything up to that size. The bonus is the box. And it's cool. These got to be 75 years old. I believe they're built in the in the late 30s, early 40s, probably. 1976, they're calibrated. They're probably old back then. So. My plan is to fix up the box. I'm going to try and cut a nice straight edge along here, maybe take an inch off, and uh, glue in a new piece of oak, sand it all, clean it all with soap and water, give it a good sanding. Some new stain and new uh, clear finish on. Polish up the brass latch here a little bit. It's just a little bit too rough looking. I don't mind the, uh, you know, rough look, uh, but uh, this is pretty. This is pretty rough. And the inside looks fine. I won't touch the inside. I might do the edges up to here. The hinges are riveted right on, so they can't take it apart. Unfortunately, unless I drill out the rivets. So here's a little bit of a close-up. Needs to be re-glued a little. Oh, I, can, I can do all that. And uh, here's the back. Back and all the all the sides are fine, just the top's a little rough. So we drill a couple holes through there, it looks like. And I don't mind the chipping and I don't mind the rustic looking, but uh, this is a bit too rough. Well, that'll keep me busy for a little while. So, uh, the plan today is to bring this into the computer shop. I can't, uh, can't seem to get it working again. It's got to give me a, uh, boot manager code that... And I reinstalled the Windows boot manager disk, and it's on the, the Windows install disk, and it just doesn't seem to work, so... Bring that in and get it fixed. And I'm going to pick up a filter for that Kubota in this afternoon. I'm hoping I can uh, tinker away and get that tractor back together a little more. They're not calling for any bad weather until Saturday, Sunday. Today's Thursday, January 25th, I think. Or 26th. Yes, yeah, 25th. Okay. That's it. Just thought I'd give you a little update. I've got a minute and a half of uh, that freezing rain we had on Tuesday. Tuesday, uh, early, early in the morning. Like I was there at 3.30 in the morning or 4 o'clock. Thanks for watching. I got the camera out because it's just crazy. Shooting off about 12 feet in the air a minute ago. Let's see if it does it again. The truck is struggling though. It's, I should really be. Uh, I'm gonna jump to the tractor right away. I just thought I'd make a couple of passes around. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> shooting up there. Oh, you can't really see much. Creeping off, boy. I think we're gonna be all right. There's always a danger that that water will saturate all the snow. We got about, they said five centimeters, but I think it was more than that. At my house, it was more for sure. The more the better, and the colder the better, and it's good, it's minus five right now. So if you are gonna get freezing rain, the colder, the better. It's up near zero where everything starts to melt. The snow will melt and fuse to the pavement and it'll freeze. One solid mass will come off. We almost need a jackhammer. Well, we dumped a whole load of salt here yesterday and uh, nothing is stuck to the pavement. So that's a little bit of my uh, day on Tuesday. Uh, Monday we prepared, we filled up all the salters. We've Salted heavily the whole site, the walkways, the roads, parking lots, and got us through because nothing stuck to the pavement. But uh, well, before I had everything completely scraped off, it started to freeze rain again, and we had to go backwards and do a bunch of stuff that was already done. But uh, we got through it. 
And there's one more addition to the shop that I, uh, I want to show you. There he is, a little two-month-old puppy. So the kids have been asking for a dog for a long time. Well, you know, got one a week and a half ago. So you'll see him in some of the videos. Hey, my wife just painted this oil painting. I don't know if it's oil. It looks like oil. Last weekend. Thanks for watching.